State Democratic Chairwoman Karen Thurman. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for having me, Adam. Talk a little bit. Of, obviously, you just had a big uh, Barack Obama victory. Talk a little bit about how you've seen the party, the local DECs, et cetera, change in this state. Well, uh, this this last weekend, we actually had a great event in Orlando where our chairs and uh, our vice chairs, our treasurers, and everybody came together. But but we're seeing a couple of things happening out there. One, we're seeing some of those folks that have had the opportunity to participate in you know campaigns from before people who participated in this past campaign coming together and really uh, attacking part of uh, part of what they see as making sure that we keep people who were involved in the Barack Obama campaign involved over this next two years as well. We have several uh, big races in our local um, cities and uh, mayor's races and and city council races that we have a great interest in because those are going to be our local and next legislators coming to th forward for our state um, party. There's We've written forever about the lack of a bench with the Democratic mm -hmm. Party. I was just talking about, to th about this with Jim Greer, who is sort of uh, laughing that the only name that ever surfaces are, is Alex Sink, that if Alex Sink were to move to California, the Democratic Party would be in big trouble in this state. Where is the bench? Oh, the bench is all over. I mean, Adam, do you remember uh, Jack Seiler? Uh, very articulate, uh, well-informed legislator. Just got elected as the mayor of Fort Lauderdale. Um, we've watched uh, people all over the state that have come up. I think one thing that, that gets little recognition is some of the races that actually happened in 2008 at, at, into the legislature, as well as to our locals. But uh, we had a lot of young men and women who actually rose from the ranks of elected officials at the local level that are actually now serving in the state legislature. But you also had in 2008 an enormous, unprecedented ground operation thanks to Barack Obama. Absolutely. And made no net gains in the legislature. How do you explain that? Well, I, look, I let's let's you take it from a different view than I do. Okay. First of all, uh, we've won over this past four years now, two years, um, half of the statewide races. We have picked up four congressional seats from Republicans. We have increased and made ourselves very relevant in the state house and in, even in this last election i'm clearly i know that we moved ahead we have not moved backwards in a very long time uh, over the last four years that is a huge difference than where we saw this florida democratic party or um, democrats in the state over the last sub several years and talk a little bit about the obama 2.0 uh, operation that people are expecting when do you expect to start seeing significant numbers of new field staffers? Well, we, we actually have a meeting in the near future to have a little bit more information about that. I mean, they are moving in the direction of first getting their regional directors on the ground so that they can begin the process of, of trying to find some of the top talent around the country to uh, participate. So, uh, and how to, you know, put it all together. So I think we're, uh, I, 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 we don't know exactly um, but the good news for all of us is they're moving forward and in in, we're looking at having some great new people on the ground here in Florida. One of the, just new. One one of the, of the ones issues ones most uh, normal people are not paying attention to but is likely to be a big uh, controversy is this uh, check card bill. And there's a, Republicans are putting up a constitutional amendment uh, basically saying it would guarantee people secret ballots, whether it's for regular elections or labor elections. <laughs> How do you combat that? The secret ballot sounds like a pretty compelling argument. And will you encourage Democrats to oppose or support it? Well, first of all, I, again, um, the legislature, in particular under this Republican-led legislature, which has just made, I think, many of us crazy who believe in the Constitution of the state of Florida, there are things that ought to be considered under the constitutional amendments. It, it, get the guts. If you, if you have a problem with what's going on out there, vote on it. You know, take it. You know, take it to the legislature. Have a vote. Why would you put this in the Constitution of the State of Florida? I mean, I, I don't understand that at all. Um, secondly, last time I checked, nobody knows how I vote. Um, last question: Charlie Crist uh, seems to be adored by independents. Sky high approval ratings. How do you beat this guy? Whatever he's running for. Well. Adam, I, I quite frankly have a, a, a little bit different opinion. I, I agree he's liked, but I need leadership. This is a time, if there ever was a time, 
that Floridians deserve a governor who is sitting down and making the decisions and talking to the people of the state of Florida. I have found it very interesting that the President of the United States, Barack Obama, who is probably has some of the highest numbers that we've seen in a very long time. And I think the reason he does is because he's been very honest and upfront with the people. He's talked about what our problems are, what our concerns are, and he's putting forward actual, trying to find the solutions to, to, to put people back first. And are you suggesting Charlie Chris is not doing that? He's I've also not very seen positive. it. I've not seen it. Um, you know, he, he, the only thing that he's been able to do at this point is take the money from the stimulus package and stand up with the president and say, this is great. So where's his stimulus package? Where are his answers? How is he going to close the, loop, the, the, the holes in our education system? How is he going to help fund those uh, children for health care? How is he going to make sure that, that our citizens are safe? I haven't seen those proposals yet. All I've seen is what's come out of Washington. That's not leadership. Okay. Karen Thurman, thanks a lot.